Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you're new here. Also, please check out the description section below for more information. There might also be some links in there as well. Picking the right surround sound speakers is so important. Having the right combination, the right types of surround speakers can make a world of a difference in surround sound that sounds just okay versus surround sound that sounds amazing. In the back of me on the screen, I have the receiver set to the 5.1 setup. So for the 5.1 setup, there is only two speakers that are going to be somewhere in the rear. I'm gonna give you a whole bunch of different ideas with different speakers, different patterns and combinations that you could use along the way. I'm gonna do 6.1 and I'm gonna do 7.1 as well. So let's start with the 5.1, okay? When you have two speakers, what can you do? This speaker is a monopole speaker. Please check out my other video which discusses monopoles, bipoles, and dipole speakers. I'm not really gonna get into each type in this because I did spend the time in the other one. So, so this area that I'm sitting in I created this so I could show you the different speaker combinations in a very compact um, sitting area. Now, obviously, this isn't what the surround setup at your home would look like. You, you would definitely, I mean, I'm pretty sure you'd have more space than this, but this table is gonna be the back wall. So this TV is not here. Pretend this TV is not here. Pretend the TV is actually the camera that I'm facing. That's where the the TV is. So this table, think of this as your back wall. Maybe your speakers are on a bookshelf. Maybe they're on stands. Maybe they're floor standing speakers. Who knows? But that's this back table. This back table is the wall that's behind the couch. This table and this table, these could be your walls on the sides of your couch. These could be speaker stands. These could be tables. Um, it could be floor standing speakers. So just keep all that in mind. We got a play a little bit of pretend here to make this work. <laughs> um, so, you know, back to the surround sound with a 5.1, there are two speakers in the rear. So where can you put them? Well, the first, for the first combination, I'm going to use this, let me move this table up a little, I'm gonna use this monopole speaker. Okay, please check out my video for monopoles, bipoles, and dipoles that I made in separate video. I'm not going to get too heavy into that with this. So we can put a monopole on each side like so. And if you're going to place them on the side, you probably would want them on the sides, but a little bit towards the, towards the rear of you. So kind of the sides where I'm sitting, but a little bit back. So if I was to take my face, right, the speakers would be from probably like the beginning of my ear back. So that's kind of like where I have it. Maybe it shows well, maybe it doesn't. But that's where I would put the monopoles if I was gonna put them, if the only location was in the rear sides, okay? Now, these can also go on a bit of an angle as well towards the rear, like how it's shown in the picture over there. So essentially that would be like this. These speakers would just would be angled more like this, but actually it would probably be, you know, more like somewhere here. Of course, it's gonna be further away. It might be four feet away, it might be five feet, it might be 10 feet, you know, whatever your room is, but the angle, that's the idea. So think about it like that, it's gonna be the angle. So this is with two monopoles. Now, let's just say we're going to the rear. Then the monopoles, I would sit them right about here because this, see this handle here? This handle in the seat, this is where the person's head would be. So the neck and head would be right about here. And then I would stick another monopole right about here. So with the person that's sitting here, it's off to the, it's a little bit more so off to the right. And I'll sit down so you can see. So you can see where the speaker is, it's kind of, off to my right shoulder, right? So it's off to the right shoulder. That way, wherever 
the, the two people or who knows, maybe it's three or four, whatever it might be, the person that's closest to the speaker still has the speaker sending the sound off to the back side and then they can hear that speaker as well. And with a monopole, monopole speakers are more sending the sound like this. So the tweeter, whatever angle the tweeter is gonna set, um, send out the sound, it's gonna go like this. But monopoles are more one way. So they're sending the sound, um, you know, straight out, straight ahead. So you just wanna keep that in mind with, with the placement. So the 5.1, has other options as well. So the other options for 5.1, we're gonna switch out these monopole speakers. And now I'm gonna switch it for some bipole speakers. So bipole. So bipole speakers are like this. There's a speaker on each side okay and the and the sound the sound comes out evenly on each side so over here now on the right i have a bipole and over here on my left i have a bipole the same logic that i used before with the monopole where i want the speaker to kind of be like here so in this case because the monopole speaker has this right in the center that's splitting it in two. So you got one driver set here, one driver set here. I want this to kind of be more so here. And there's some logic behind it. So I'm gonna put it like right about here to, to show you, right? So with this, what's happening is I'm gonna get some of the sound from the front, which is gonna make its way to my ears. I'm also actually getting some of the sound from the rear, which is making its way to my ears. The rear part is going to find its way to the back wall. So it's going to find its way to the back wall because it's pointing this way. And that sound is going to hit that back wall and bounce around a bit. So it's going to help to create a larger sound stage. The same thing with this speaker over here the rear side, or should I say that, I guess kind of to, the side that's kind of to my left, this is gonna go this way, hit the back wall, and create a larger sound stage. Now, this is really, this is really great if, if, you know, the couch is up against the wall, this might work well. So if the couch is up against the wall, so say that, you know, this, this table's the wall, and then you stick these on the side, you know, then, these drivers over here will hit that wall because they'll be very close to it and it'll create more of a spacious sound in the back. So that's one way to use the bipole speakers. The next way for this would be, of course, the way that it was showing on the TV, which would be more so, like if you wanted to stick these bipoles like this and then you know, you're going to be sitting and you're going to be hearing it kind of going like this. So this driver is going to be going this way. This driver is going to be going that way. So the person that's sitting there, their ears are going to connect with this. Your ears might connect with this a bit too. Then your ear is going to hear this one as well. But with a bipole, I don't really think that this is ideal to be honest. So my next position with the bipole would be right right about here so this center divider would be right at you know the person's shoulder which would be here because the head is here so i think right about here i'm going to do that with the other one right. so right about there i think that that that's ideal um, this is how i set up my rears with with, with the bipole speakers so now I'm sitting here and my left ear is getting this driver right here sent right to me. It's going straight at my left ear. This driver back here, okay, this one is going, this driver is going right at this person, but I can also hear it 
as well with my other ear. And this driver over here, right, I'm hearing this going this way off to the right. So it's, it's a combination because the sound is going, is going out like this. All right, the sound is going out this way and it's covering this wide area compared to the monopole that's going out like this. These type of speakers are much easier, much easier to, um, to sit on, on a couch with. So let's just say you had a three or a four, a three seater or a four seater, having two of these in the rear would make for much better sound than having monopole speakers. Okay, just because of that type of just the way that just the way it's angled and the fact that you have the drivers on each side. So back to the speaker, the driver on this side is going to go this way and it should hit the wall at some point and some of that sound should, you know, bounce off a bit. The same thing with this driver, it should go this way, hit, hit the wall, and then some of that sound should, you know, bounce around a bit. Um, you know, if the room has has walls on, on, on each side, that would be great because then you, then with uh, the bipoles in the rear, they do really sound excellent. Um, I personally prefer to have the bipoles in the rear. That's just, you know, it's just a preference and that's just based on, you know, all those years of, of experience with trying to position the monopoles correctly and you know listening to them and you know moving moving in the seat you know moving from seat to seat maybe you're sitting in the middle maybe you're sitting here you know it's so much more critical with a monopole than with the bipole so that's the 5.1 now we're going to do 6.1 6.1 what i have here is i got the two monopoles we got the monopoles again so let's just say we're pointing both of these in Kind of the same way that we did the 5.1 but because it's 6.1 there's one speaker that's sitting back here um, some of the new receivers won't do a 6.1 okay the Marantz that I have it has it where I can set the rear to either one or two speakers so this would be a 6.1 the Ankyo it doesn't do that it goes from uh, the two speakers for 5.1 and then it basically jumps up to uh, 7.1. So just keep that in mind. A lot of older receivers, uh, maybe some of the lower cost receivers, they might also allow the 6.1 setup. For the 6.1, I have this bipole back here. It's the only speaker that I would use for 6.1 would be a bipole because the sound is coming out this way and the sound is coming out this way. A monopole with a 6.1, with a, with a 6 um, it, it, sounds very, it sounds very narrow. I, I've, I've tried it and it, it, it sounds awkward. So if there's only going to be one speaker, the bipole sounds a lot better. So with that said, with the 6.1, we could do two monos on the side, the monopoles. We could do the bipole on the rear. But maybe you want to spruce it up a little bit more. So let's swap these out for some dipoles. Okay, I got the dipoles now. Let's, that's a little heavy. Um, so on this speaker, it has a switch for bipole and dipole. So what happens? Basically, when it's set to the dipole, one side is, is, is out of phase. So there's going to be a, uh, you know, a phasing difference between you know, the front drivers and between the rear drivers, okay? So in this case, the manufacturer decided to put a port here instead of a woofer. A lot of manufacturers would do it just like this where there's you know, a woofer on each side. When it comes to the bipoles and the dipoles, look at how the manufacturer makes that speaker. Some of them, you know, when I look at it, I go, I wouldn't buy it because sometimes they, they'll stick a woofer in the middle and then there'll be a tweeter here and a tweeter here. And I'm thinking about how that's going to sound, uh, you know, based on, you know, the, the angles. Some of them, 
I mean, I personally would pass on some of them. I like something more where there's a full set of drivers on, on each side. Anyway, uh, with that said, these speakers are a dipole. So by putting the dipole over here, what's happening is this rear portion, because these speakers are actually labeled left and right. So this is the right channel speaker. So I have it in the right spot. Here's my right arm. Anyway, this rear, this rear tweeter, uh, the rear drivers, it's gonna, it's gonna be out of phase. So when the sound hits this speaker, it's not, it's not going to be pinpoint. It's gonna create more of a fanned out sound. So the surround effects, it'll be harder to place where the effects are coming from. So in this case, it's possible that having a dipole on each side might help to fill a little bit of the void that the 6.1 only having one speaker in the rear has created. A dipole definitely has a different sound. It's something that you might like or you might not like it. I found that when I use these on the sides set to that mode, it, it was interesting because I thought I was getting a little bit more of a sense of like motion at times when the sound would hit them. Uh, maybe because of it being out of phase, it sounded like just a little bit more like this. That's the only way I could explain it. It was a little bit more, it was different than listening to a, a bipole on the sides. So this may help to fill in some of the void that's in the back over here, or at least trick your ears a little bit into, you know, thinking that. So that's using the dipoles on the sides with a bipole, one speaker for 6.1. Now let's do 7.1. All right, so because I already had the dipoles sitting on the sides of me and I had the one bipole sitting in the rear, I just added a bipole. So this is what the 7.1 could look like if you're using dipoles on the sides with bipoles in the rear. With that said, this might, it might be a little bit too much with it set to the dipole mode. You might want to put this to the bipole mode for the sides or just purchase two more of these and put them on the sides pointing in. In my opinion, depending on the you know, the uh, seating area that you have in your house, that's something that you're going to have to really decide. But this is one way to really cover the sides and cover the rear. And when you have two speakers like this in the rear, you're getting the sound from all angles. Right? And even with this, we're getting the sound from all angles, which is, which is really nice. It's going to create a nice rear sound field. But again, it might be a little bit too much because it might, it might kind of dull that sense of the sound is coming from like this speaker. You know, it might be, it might be too much because this sound going from like in every direction between these speakers. So if you want sound that's a little bit more pinpoint, my next option might be the best choice and it's actually the choice that I personally use switch these all right so this is this is my favorite speaker pattern for the rear speakers with the setup that I personally have with the 7.1 but it's actually a 9.1.2 because 7.1 is is the base and the two the point two is is front heights so I'm using the monopole speakers Okay. And I'm also using them with a, with, with a soft dome tweeter pointing inward. Okay, so my surround right, surround left are monopoles pointing in and the rear surrounds, the surround backs are bipolars with aluminum dome tweeters or a metal tweeter. The logic behind it is having a soft dome tweeter Typically, 
uh, soft dome tweed is are not are not ear fatiguing they're not ear piercing and when the speakers that are on the sides are pointing right into your ear canal <laughs> having um, you know tweeters that are metal or, or horn tweeters I, I would hate to you know think about horn tweeters um, you know it might be too much so I use um, speakers with soft dome tweeters and mono poles on the sides because I like the mono pole it's nice and um, sound specific so when sound is coming out of you know this speaker you know I'm hearing it and then the, the bipole is really creating a large sound stage in the, in the rear you know with that said again if the if the seating area is is very large um, or potentially you know maybe the the couch bends a bit you know depending on how it is in the room you know you want to set it up so it's kind of the best for most people so you really don't want anybody having absolutely horrible sound so in that case then you know the bipoles or the dipoles or whatever you know might be better on the sides but if it's like a three seater like a two seater like this or a three seater uh, I mean, I think that this is just great. This is, again, this is my own personal preference. If you have any questions, if you have any comments, please post it below. If you are using a dipole speaker or a bipole speaker or whatever your combination is that you enjoy, I'd love to hear about it. Please post it in the comments. Home theater is such a mix and match process that, you know, there's, it's, it's almost like there's endless combinations that would work right for um, you know an endless number of people so just you know always do what you feel is best for you with the equipment you have and you know the budget you have and the room you have that's 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 all you could do and, and be happy with it ultimately have a great day